gonna be doing today, I think, is my drum kit. It is time for some cleanup and maintenance of my kit. This is a PDP concept uh, maple seven piece set. This is sort of my setup right now. I may change things around a little bit once I clean things up. I got a DW5000 double pedal. I'm gonna break that down, clean it all up, lube the chain. I put new springs on it a couple years ago, so I think those are probably good. Tighten all the heads, I'm clean all the chrome. I may even polish some cymbals, like I did on the brass doorknobs, we'll see. I know these need it, my hi-hats. I'd be interested to see if the dirt, which I think it does, the dirt's off there it'll make it sound different got a 10 inch i'm sorry an 8 inch tom 10 12 14 16 0.2 inch bass drum and then a typical snare drum so 16 inch ride oh i'm sorry 20 inch ride i used to have a 16 inch ride which it didn't sound very good that rides a lot better china china and then Oh, I got a 16 inch, no, 18 inch crash, 16 inch crash, and 10 inch splash. I've got a couple other splash cymbals down on the floor, but I don't know. I don't use them that much, so I just took them out. The task today is going to be to break this all down, clean it up, tighten heads, and yeah, jam out. I'm having trouble getting this rod out. It looks like there is a nut right there, and I don't have a socket to get in there. Looks like a really thin wall socket needs to go in there to get that out. I don't have one, and I'm not gonna force it. Uh, I don't know that it's completely necessary that I get into where those bearings are. I don't, they're sealed bearings, closed bearings. I'm not gonna be able to do anything with them. Um, there shouldn't really be, the movement's pretty free. I don't feel any catches or anything. It feels really good. So I think I'm just gonna get some degreaser and clean this up as best I can and leave it. This is a, I think I paid $500 for this pedal when I bought it. Now, it was several years ago when I bought this pedal, um, but they're still, they're still the, the business. Uh, these are the these are the good pedals according to a lot of pe people I mean it's a very subjective opinion based thing just like I'm sure guitars and all you guitarists and everything drummers are the same way it's all opinion what you like best so everything I can get to all these parts I got I'm gonna clean them up and make this thing look as new as I can again then we'll start on drum set got a bunch just like on here it's like on here it's got a bunch of little bearings that are pressed in and again I'm not trying to press those out and doing a do a bunch with it there it seems like a lot of 
unnecessary work. It feels good. Feels good. That side is done. On to the next one. All right, so I just want to show something. So this bearing, if you can see that, is an R6Z bearing. When I look up R6Z bearing, it says it's got a 3 8 inch bore, 7 8 out OD outside diameter and a 9 30 seconds width so I've got a handy dandy little weights and measures and uh, it's actually an engineering handbook but so let's look up 3 8 so 3 8 says 0.375 millimeters is 9.525 so I'm gonna break out my caliper I turned it on, I'm gonna zero it. And we're gonna see what this bearing is inside diameter. So 0.375 was what the book said. 0.370, I'm sorry, 0 0.3730. That's pretty close, that's pretty tight tolerance. I'm not too concerned about that. Um, OD 7 eighths, so we'll go to our We'll go to our handbook. We'll look at the decimal equivalent to 7 eighths, 0.875. So again, we'll go to zero. We'll put our bearing in there. 0 0.875, 0 0.8745, which again is pretty tight. That's pretty good. I can live with that. And then what do we say? Nine thirty seconds width. Nine thirty seconds. Point two eight one two five. Well, zero. So point two seven eight. Again, I think that's okay. I'm not too concerned about the width. I'm more concerned about this OD measurement, which is pretty good. Actually, I think this is pretty much a standard bearing. There's not real anything crazy about this, but. I want to make sure everything's right when I order them. So I'm going to order some of these for this other side of, of my pedal. All right, so I got to order two new bearings for that other side. Nobody's got any around, right? whatever. It's like the most common bearing in the world, I think. But It's hard to do with boots on, but.
back. Different day. Same pedal. Got everything cleaned up and I got my bearings. New bearings. I'm gonna put these in. Get my pedal back together. I had to break out the computer here and get a schematic because things weren't jiving when I was looking at it. I'm leaving this off. This came on it. I'm not sure why. I don't think it needs it anymore. I'm not putting it back on. I'm not putting this piece back on because I believe this is just simply for a traveling musician when they take the pedal off at the end of the night or whatever move that they can this is a little clip I think for that I, mean, I have no idea but I don't use it so I don't I'm not putting it on so let's go put this on my kit okay so I'm gonna try to line this with the other pedal so I've got the same feel on both that's about right DW5000, that's my pedal setup. I've had this thing for, gosh, years. But all the reviews, everything I read, everything I look at, still say it's one of the best. And I think it is too. I like this pedal. And So a little bit about my kit. It's a PDP Maple Concept kit, seven piece. It's made by DW, which is a leader in the in the drumming world. Awful lot of drummers play DW. I've been playing drums for, gosh, my dad got me a kit when I was 11 years old. I learned to play a little bit and then lost interest. This is just other things. I'd, played sports and did some other stuff but I bought this new kit probably five or six years ago and uh it's just time to do some maintenance on it if you can't tell it needs cleaned up bad the symbols are all out of whack they need clean I really haven't been able to play all the time like I want to but first step was to get my pedal serviced maintained now I think I'm gonna break my drums all down clean everything up I'd like to get some new heads. Uh, these are Remo Power Stroke 4s. I'm thinking about considering going to Evans. Coated. I'm intrigued about what those will sound like. And get everything tuned up and freshened up and maybe reposition some stuff. I don't know, maybe not. I gotta fix my china here. It's all cattywampus. I'm not gonna get any new cymbals. I'd like to, maybe get it, add an extra crash. Yeah, that's my setup. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.